Hi, integration by substitution, advanced example number 3. Evaluate i equal to integral of 1 over x plus 1 times square root of x squared plus 3x plus 1 dx. And the substitution is given as x plus 1 equal to 1 over u. And also there is an expression given if you integrate this one, 1 over square root of a squared minus x squared, you get inverse sine of x over a. So we need to find out how you can utilize this one. In, in this case we can't see directly what is the purpose of this expression here, but we'll start with the expression here which is x plus 1 equal to 1 over u. Let's substitute this one here. So what is given is this expression, evaluation term, and we are going to use the substitution x plus 1 equal to 1 over u. So first we'll take the, this is uh, x plus 1 u, obviously we can substitute x plus 1 with a u, 1 over u, but the one inside the square root, we don't see an x plus 1 there. So what we can do is we take the terms, like we first take x squared plus 3x plus 1, and try to rearrange the terms in such a manner that we can substitute x plus 1. So we can take x squared is equal to x plus 1 squared. So when you take this one we have two additional terms which is the middle term and the last term x squared plus 2x plus 1. So you have to take away 2x and the 1 minus 2x and the last term minus 1. So when you add these all these you get x squared and we have 3x plus 1 here. So this is already there. And then now if you simplify this one, x plus 1 squared minus 2x plus 3x will become plus x. And the 1 minus 1 plus 1 becomes 0. So now we have an expression x plus 1 squared plus x. But still we need to replace uh, x plus 1 with 1 over u. Therefore we need to add a 1 to this one. That means x plus 1 squared plus x plus 1 minus 1. So we add plus 1 and take away minus 1. Take away 1 from this one to make it balanced. So now we have 1 plus x plus 1 squared which is equal to 1 over u. x plus 1 equal to 1 over u. So 1 over u squared plus 1 over u minus 1. So that is how we get here. The term inside the square root can be replaced with this new term. And also we, if you take this one and differentiate both sides x plus 1 equal 1 over u, we get dx equal to, when you differentiate u or u to the negative 1, which will become negative 1 u negative 2, that means negative 1 over u squared du. That is, if you differentiate 1 over u, you get minus 1 over, d, 1 over u squared du. Now our task is to substitute all these values that we obtained in this expression and x plus 1 will be replaced with 1 over u and the term inside the square root will be replaced with the one that we obtained just now here. So 1 over u squared plus 1 over u minus 1 and the dx will be replaced with negative 1 over u squared du. So when you simplify this whole expression very simple basically you multiply uh, by u top and u squared top and bottom and then uh, arrange the terms you get this expression. There's a negative term here so bear in mind it will come out but still the other terms if you multiply by u squared top and bottom so u squared u will go in here then 1 u will uh, go inside and it will become 1 plus u minus u squared. So this look much uh, manageable expression now. We have du over square root of 1 plus u minus u squared. Still, we can't substitute this one here because we need to make it uh, similar to the one given in the expression that is a squared minus u squared kind of expression. So to get that one, we take we again rearrange the term inside this one. That is, uh, we take the negative sign out u squared minus u minus 1 and try to make it a full square by adding half of the second term. This is the minus u. So if you want to make it a full square, u minus half squared, that will give rise to the u squared and the minus half u, minus half u, the middle term will become minus u and there will be an extra term plus 1 over 4. 
So plus 1 over 4 we take away from this expression to balance the expressions. That means this whole term will be equal to u squared minus u. And then you have negative 1 there. So you take away negative 1. So you take this one together. Uh, 4, 4 times uh, 4, 4 plus 1, 5. 5 over 4 and u minus half to the power 2. And this is what you get. Now we make this one to become equal to a square term, root 5 over 2 full squared. And then we rearrange the term and then we have a squared minus u squared kind of a term, a squared minus another expression here. So we replace u this one in here. So what we have is this one, what we got this one, so which is similar to the what is given here, inverse sine. And then we can replace this with the inverse sign. Our x equal to u minus half, a equal to root 5 over 2. So then we simplify, you get this one, plus the constant of integration c, constant of integration c, and then now we have to replace the u with uh, 1, x plus 1 equal to 1 over u. You replace these terms, uh, the u is equal to 2 over, uh, because u equal to 1 over x plus 1. So you have the other term v because take the uh, inverse of this. So you have this one and then simplify here. Finally, we end up with an expression like this. This is the final answer. 1 minus x over square root of 5 times x plus 1.